Hey guys, I'm Hyunwoo from TalkToMeInKorean.com. Today, let's talk about English. But not English as it is spoken around the world in everyday situations, but English as it is used here in Korea, especially in product names, restaurant signs, and basically everywhere. So, you come to Korea and look around, if you visit for the first time, and see that, oh, there are so many English words. This trip might be easier than I thought it would be because, apparently, um, a lot of people <laughs> speak English, but after spending just a little bit of time, you realize really quickly that that is not the case. People here, uh, very few people from Korea actually speak English. They know a lot of words and they know a lot of grammar because, you know, you take tests in school and stuff like that. But the English education system here so far hasn't really yielded a lot of good results. Since a lot of people have spent quite a you know, few hours, hundreds of hours learning English and actually taking tests um, in school on the subject of English, they know a lot of words and they don't have any trouble understanding words like simple words like exit, restaurant, pasta or you know other things, steak, coffee and people also find it cool to know some English. Obviously, it's, it's very natural like for anyone to know any foreign language is a cool thing. But here in Korea, the reason that you see so many English words yet so many incorrect um, usage examples is that all the English signs, English words written here and there are not written for actual English speakers. They are written for Korean people. I mean, of course, there are exceptions. There will be subway station names, the exit sign, things like that, and fire extinguisher signs. Things that people need to know what it is, what they are, are also marked in English, but that's a different case. Other than that, many um, business names, they have all these words in English or French. And the reason that people don't care is, like I said, because they don't write those words for English speakers. I guess that's it, but to just add a little bit of information, for some reason, I'm not a historian, so I don't know for sure, but English and French are put together in this basket of cooler languages in Korea. That's, those are the two languages that are kind of perceived as the coolest languages to know. And then the other languages like Russian, Chinese, Arabic, um, Indonesian or any other languages, Spanish or Italian. I think Italian is kind of in the middle. They are still in the all the other languages category for some reason. So people like to use English here and there. One funny example, my mom has this t-shirt. My mom was wearing this t-shirt that said in English, juror run away from murderer. Imagine all the effort of trying to Google translate that and kind of place the, the font was beautiful and everything was like pretty and everything the balance was great but then it was just uh, didn't make any sense and I almost asked my mom do you know what it means but then I realized that she only wears that t-shirt at home and never outside so I didn't bother she probably still has it but you see all these people walking around with like random English words you know, it's so tempting to take pictures of those t-shirts and stuff like that and make fun of them, but at the same time, they're not wearing them to show any identity. So yeah, <laughs> that's my explanation as to why there's so much incorrect use of English words here and there. Will it ever change? I think so. Um, when maybe in about 10 or 20 years when the kids in elementary school these days or kindergarten, they, they are taught English in, I guess, more efficient ways than we were taught um, in high school, middle school, or even in university. So when they grow up, they know enough English, they will probably care enough, they will know enough to care enough to get rid of all the absurd, nonsensical uh, English words. But until then, uh, you will still see plenty of funny, comical, innocent mistakes that people don't care about and it's only funny for actual English speakers only funny for I guess outsiders so I hope this video is useful and uh, if you want to see more videos like this when where I walk and talk please suggest topics and we will 
act upon them. And that's it for now. If you want to learn more Korean, please visit talktomeinkorean.com. And if you haven't checked out uh, our online bookstore, it's at mykoreanstore.com. We have 21 textbooks and a lot more audiobooks and ebooks, so please check them out. We'll see you next time. Bye.